Soil compaction is a problem for the world's farmers. It is defined as the pressing of soil that removes pores, eliminating water and air holding capacity. This tightens the soil structure. Soil structure is important because it determines the ability of the soil to hold and conduct water, nutrients, and air necessary for plant root activity. This means that the roots cannot penetrate the soil vertically and are forced to grow horizontally. Thus, crop damage due to drought conditions are intensified. There can also be increased risk of crop disease. Soil compaction during wet years decreases soil aeration and hinders the fertilization of soil. Altogether, university studies show soil compaction is responsible for 10 to 20 percent loss of crops. While there are many reasons for minor soil compaction, the major cause is heavy equipment. Today, plows are pulled by tractors, and each time an additional plow is added, additional weight has to be added to the tractor to pull the plows to avoid spinning wheels. If a farmer runs a 40,000 pound tractor back and forth across the field, the soil is compacted three to five feet deep. The traction plow is different because it plows without being pulled by a tractor. How does the device stay stationary while plowing? There are two gangs of plows pulled by a cable, moving in opposite directions, supported and guided by two parallel horizontal booms. These plows create their own traction by working against themselves, thereby not requiring the weight of a tractor for traction. Mounted beside each wheel is a hydraulically operated coulter type wheel that anchors the system and keeps it from shifting when one set of implements contacts hard or soft soil. This eliminates the need to add weight to the machine to create traction. In fact, the soil being tilled would never need to be driven over except for one set of tracks which are approximately 100 feet apart. How does the machine move around the field? The traction plowing system has four large diameter wheels that are powered and can rotate 90 degrees. This allows the system to move latitudinally and longitudinally throughout the field. The system can also rotate in either direction with either end becoming the fulcrum or pivot point. Once the machine is stationary, a cable pulls the plows across 100 feet in one pass. After the pass is complete, the cable pulls the plows up a ramp, lifting them out of the ground and rotating them 180 degrees. The system now moves the width that had just been tilled and stops. The cable is now activated and the implements move back down the ramp and enter the soil moving toward the opposite end of the boom. The only energy in this method of plowing goes directly to the plowing action, not to the 40,000 pound tractor. Thus, this device is more energy efficient than traditional methods. The system can also be configured to accommodate different sized fields. The booms can be linked together with supporting wheels to form a system that looks similar to a pivot irrigation system, except this system moves latitudinally across the field rather than rotating. The system's movements will be guided by a global positioning system and monitored with cameras mounted on the frame at different locations. Does the traction plowing system only plow? No. The machine can accommodate many implements that are currently being used in agriculture, such as plows, cultivator sweeps, spray units, no-till, and conventional planters, mowers, rakes, and discs. Can different height and width instruments be used? The system allows for the booms to be moved closer together or further apart. 
They can also be raised or lowered to accommodate different types of instruments. Can the system be moved from field to field? Yes, the system comes apart and the booms can be pulled as a trailer on the supporting wheels. The traction plowing system was designed to reduce soil compaction and thus increase crop yield. The system also reduces fuel consumption and dust pollution because heavy tractors are not required. This system could reduce dust pollution by 50%. The Environmental Protection Agency and farmers are increasingly concerned about dust pollution created by agriculture. A smaller version of the traction plowing system can be used in fields and garden applications. This environmentally friendly system can be applied in plowing, planting, fertilizing, cultivation, harrowing, no-till, mowing, raking, spraying, and other farming operations. By reducing fuel costs and increasing yields, this system can result in a savings of billions of dollars for the agriculture industry.